Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We're going to be talking about Channels DVR today. This is an app that I've installed onto uh, Apple TV. Um, and I'm going to run through how it works, basically. So let's get into uh, the Channels DVR app. So when you open the app like this, um, essentially it's, the app is really um, customizable with everything you want. So on the left hand side here, all of these tabs can basically be uh, renamed to, to whatever you want removed added to so in this in this side by you could just essentially have something like um dad's movies or you know the kids kids area or whatever you want um everything you see is customizable the only thing that isn't pretty much uh is the the color uh, of the app but everything else um is so what we'll first of all I'll go through the home screen um so as you can see here um this is your up next. So this is the same as how it works on Apple TV. Um, basically any programs that you're watching from um, different sources end up in here. <coughs> so I have a HD home run tuner um, connected to my aerial, which then gives me um, live channels over, over aerial, which is free view essentially. So what this does is it records from, from that HD home run tuner um, onto a hard drive. Channels DVR then scans the, the drive and looks for the shows and then puts them in here essentially. Um, this watch list is basically something that I've created. Um, it's essentially just a collection that I've called the watch list, which I can add shows to again from within the app or from the phone. Um, basically, what is up to watch next, um, recent re release movies, and so on. And you can pretty much add whatever you want to this. Um, to this section, to this home section. Um, the on now, so this shows you basically what's on TV, so what's on at the moment. Um, and again, it's really it's really good, it works, works really well. Um, so if I click on something, I've just gotta be careful not to, um, uh, not to trigger any kind of um, copyright, but let's open this one. You'll see how quickly it comes on, and then I'll, I'll go back off it there. Um, once you're in the channels, you can, hit up and down on the Apple remote which will t which will take you through the channels like like a normal kind of TV would up at the top here um, is, is sections so I'm going to go through the guides in, in a moment but again you can have any section you want you can create one or you can just use the kind of inbuilt ones so you could have just your HD channels for example or uh, kids channels or anything like that this section this on now is basically just taken from your guide so we'll scroll down to the guide now so again, inside of here, this is all customizable. So these tabs you see on the left, um, these are the ones that I've added. I've got rid of the ones I don't want, which means that everything in here is things that I would want to see. So I've got all the normal channels that come over the free view um, of the aerial um, down to here. So these are all from Freeview, and then these channels here are channels that I've created within Channels DVR. So one of the things that you can do is create your own TV channel. And it's, it's fairly straightforward, and I'll do a tutorial at some point. But essentially, you create the channel, you direct it to a folder where you have the content, you add a logo, like as you can see here. Um, and then basically what that is, is that when you then click on that channel, and again, I'll do it quickly, so I'll click, and that then comes up, um, and it will play that content throughout the day basically so there's one here for friends and it will just cycle through all of the episodes um, and so on so that's what these channels are um, these channels here are from Samsung TV plus so any kind of fast channels so the the internet broadcast channels um, you can add into your guide um, I've only got a few in here to be fair but there's hundreds and hundreds that you can have um, and then further down these channels so these are all from now TV and how these work is you can add these into the app which then show up in your guide and these are basically like a direct link into the now tv app so we pay for now tv whatever it is 10 or a month or five or a month if i click on this one for example oh that's not no, not that sorry if i click on something in here so I click this that will then first of all it'll say do you want to watch from your library because you've got it or if you want to watch live and that will open the now tv app I'll do it with a different one. I'll do it with something I don't have in my library. Make it a bit more. So Entourage here, Sky Comedy. If I click that, it will let it open that stream in Now TV. Well, that's saying it's not saying it's not playing. That might be uh, it may be that it's expired or something. Who knows? I'm trying to try something else just to show you that it works. 
Mm. Maybe now TV's down, I don't know. But anyway, that's how it works. Um, and then these channels at the bottom, these are just taken from Pluto TV. So again, just another fast uh, internet channel that I've added. <coughs> you can remove any channels you don't want and only add the channels that you want. So it's really, again, customizable. If we go down to movies now, and again, these are these are movie channels. So some of these are movie channels that I've created, um, and some of them are Sky Movies cinema channels. But one of the things you can do is the ones that I've created. So this one, for example, um, you can add your own logo. So I quite like the look of the Sky Cinema movie logos, and because I've got now cinema, uh, and the other ones. So say this, for example. Um, again, look, it's it's asked me to want to do that. I do that, which is quite good. Um, that would open in Now TV, and these other ones would just play from from my hard drive, um, and go and so on and so forth. But again, some creator channels, some um, channels that are linked to to Now, and then music. So again, one of the things you can do is create. We run channels. You can create a music channel. So I've done it here, where um, each of these is a different style of music. I've got the videos. Um, that I've got from various sources, added to a hard drive, linked them on the channels app, and then what that means, I can come in here um, and basically play one of these channels, um, and it will just cycle through music videos kind of all day. I'll just come off that. Um, uh, news, same thing. It's just channels. So what I've got here, the top two here, are just from Freeview, and all of these channels here, are channels that I've created using YouTube. Um, channels that I subscribe to so they're all just free channels if you like uh, so digital trends for example is a channel about uh, TVs and electronics generally what there's an app and what that app does uh, and again I'll do tutorials at some point is it just downloads the content from these channels every sort of seven days or so which means that you can then watch it within um, within the channels DVR app um, up next is what I showed you early on basically what was on the home page and then into movies so movies again it's a bit like plex and infuse where you can create your own collections so that within your library um you can have movies that you've got um and they will show up obviously in these in these rows another thing with the, those collections is you can make these tabs so again i quite like this guy cinema um brandon so I basically i just use that brandon and, and kind of edit it um but what that means is that if i click on action for example so all these movies um, are movies that I own <coughs> in some form or another. Um, one of the really good things that you can do on the Channels DVR app is add content um, that you can access on streaming services. So if you have Netflix, for example, um, let me show an example. I think there's one fairly recent film. Um, if you have Netflix, you can then go into... So this one, I'll carry on. This is a Netflix film. If you subscribe to Netflix, you can add the streaming link from that service into your channel's DVR library. So if I click on that there, you can see it's Netflix. If I hit watch, it will open up Netflix. Again, I'm gonna come off it. But it will open up Netflix um, and play that movie. So it's a really good way of collating all the different films that you have access to or films that you own. So another example would be, if we go into here, uh, so Too Fast, Too Furious. So that's, I own that movie on Apple TV so I've added it as a streaming link and if I hit watch it will open uh, Apple TV and it'll open that movie up the best thing about it is it opens it up at this sort of information page if you like where you can access the trailer and related programs and all that one annoying thing on Apple TV if I did the same thing is it would if I clicked it, it would just play the movie I wouldn't have access to all this unless I went through some other steps so it's quite nice that it does that um, and then movies that you have in your library, um, let me look for one, so cliffhanger, and that's on a hard drive basically, that's a download, so that shows up like that, you click watch and it will just play the film, the same as it would in Plex or uh, Infuse. Um, so that's the Sky Movies section, so again you, you could add movies fr um, from Now, Now TV, from Disney, um, if I go into these collections and I go down to uh, Marvel, so I've got a Marvel section down here. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> I did have. Where's it gone? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's completely disappeared. Oh, I can't see it. One of the two. But yeah, 
there's some Marvel films in there. If I click on those Marvel films, it they will open up in Disney. So that's it for your movies. Again, with your rows, you, and you can any of these collections that you you create, you can add as a row. So I can scroll through all of all of the movies that I have access to or that, are, that I own, um, and you scroll along, and eventually it'll come down to the more where you can then open up the whole library for that collection. It, it works really well. Um, there's loads of movies that I've got in there, and I've never had any issues so far, which has been really good. Even in terms of playing um, 4K films, um, so if we go up to here, so Dolby Vision, so I'll just look for one that's not uh, on Apple TV. Um, mm -mm -mm. Just to kind of show you how um, how it plays, and hopefully it will play. There won't be any issues. Like I say, I don't think I've had any issues yet with playback. The problem is that I own most of these movies. Oh, June. Yeah, so try that one. So I'll hit play. <clears throat> and then this is obviously going to be playing from the um, from the hard drive. So there, it started playing. It's just come up with subtitles. But that's the movie there. So you can see it's 10 seconds in. It's obviously just nothing uh, on screen at the moment for the introduction of the film. Um, that's it for movies pretty much, which brings us on to um, TV shows. So again, all these tabs are, are, are customizable. So I, I like the quite minimalistic look, but so I've only got movies, TV shows, but you could potentially have sidebars here, which relate to sections of movies. So you could have action films, say for example, where they're all just in the sidebar. It just depends on how you like it. So if we go into TV shows, in the same way that it works with movies, you can do it for TV shows as well. So what I've done is I've created these collections where you can add the image to it and it kind of puts all of your apps and all the stuff you have access to in one place. Um, <clears throat> and it works really well. If I click onto Netflix, for example, Stranger Things, if I click that, you can see there's a little Netflix logo there. If I click watch, open it up. I'll let it do it actually. It'll open it up in Netflix and it'll go once you get past that, to the Stranger Things um, content. So we're going to go back. Um, and again, the same for all these other things. We've gone to Apple TV. If I click on uh, Severance, um, if I click on there and click Watch, it will open it up in Apple TV for me to watch it. So it just links all your content without... Because you can add the streaming links, you can just add the, the programs that you want to watch. And obviously, when to, once you've watched them, if you want to remove it, it's as simple as trash, trash items, and that will then disappear. And the benefit is that you don't have to have all these downloaded onto your hard drive or anything like that. It's, they're just there. You can also obviously add content that you've got downloaded somewhere. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's that's pretty much how, how the TV shows work. Um, I have mine arranged into collections, so again, when I scroll down, I can see all the Netflix stuff I like, all the stuff that I want to watch, all the HBO I want to watch, Prime Video, and so on. And it just means that you don't have adverts, you don't have content that you're not interested in, it's purely just the content that, that you want to watch. Um, and using the stream and links thing, and uh, the, the stuff you've got on hard drive, it just brings everything from all those services together. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to briefly, I'm going to wrap this video because it's gone a little bit, but I'm just going to go into settings just to show you how much you, you can change. So um, you can choose your sources there, so general, you can choose on all these different things, whether you want to see them or not see them. Um, yeah, shortcuts, what happens at startup, how live TV reacts, whether you want to see up next and top shelf. Um, so again, on the Apple TV. So you can see there, look, it shows up. So your up next list shows, and then your channels, whichever channels you've got um, in, your, in your guide will show up as well. So again, works really well with Apple TV. Um, updates are really regular. There's probably two up, two big updates a year where they normally add new things, like the stream and links thing, for example, was, was a new thing they added. Creating your own channels was another thing that they added. Um, so it only gets better. At the moment, it's $8 a month. Um, that is for the DVR server where you can do all the things that I've talked about. There is another option on Apple TV where I think it's £25 or $25 um, where you can buy the, the channel's DVR app, which is just the um, just for your TV, so with your HD home run tuner. I appreciate 
some people watching this might be wondering what I'm talking about with a lot of these things and hopefully I'm going to do some tutorials which will show how to how to do all these different things on the channel because there's some really good documentation on the website but there's not many videos on on YouTube for channels unfortunately I don't know whether it's just not as popular but that's the plan I'm going to be doing some for channels some for Plex some for Infuse basically all all around kind of cutting the cord and moving away from um, being tied to to different you know contracts where you can have the content on a on a much more straightforward basis so that's it for now if you enjoyed the video drop a like um subscribe if you want to see more and let me know in the comments if there's any particular parts that you want to uh find out some more information about and i will uh and i will get that sorted 